we did that test drive to the next nearest Walgreens. Even before rush hour, there was a lot of traffic. Even after the closure here on Warren Street, folks are showing up. That means every pharmacy in the area is about to get a lot busier. The mayor, the representatives, Ayanna Presley, please keep on these people for letting these things in Roxbury close. It's a shame. The Warren Street Walgreens is locked up, closed down for good. The disabled and seniors say it is sickening. They'll suffer the most. In the middle of the day, it took us eight minutes to drive to the Columbus Avenue alternate Walgreens. All are now eligible for free same-day home delivery. But that's not enough. We asked them for $10 million so that seniors would have transportation from their home to the pharmacy. I need down the, the, the pharmacy open. It's a shame, but um, I'm sorry for the people who live in this area. No, it's not over. No, it's not over. After a month-long protest to try to save the Warren Street Walgreens, community members now want to sue. The basis of the suit is what they call disparate impact. We know that they've been uh, building and establishing Village Medical at Walgreens in the suburbs. It is communities who have the least other options of where to get their medications filled, where the pharmacies are closing. But you'd have to take the bus from here up to Seaburn Blue or to Dudley to come back around. It's just complicated. Why don't you take the bus? I don't trust it because I might fall. My legs give out on me a lot. It's going to be tough, not just for me, for other people too. It's just tough to think about it all. While the door was being locked here, the Black Men's Political Task Force was sitting down with lawyers from the U.S. Attorney's Office and the Attorney General's Office trying to build a case based on a remedy for the people of this community and in the name of health equity. Live in Roxbury, Rondella Richardson, WCBB News Center 5.